our people are not safe. But we are going to do everything we can to secure the peace and security of our citizens. This country is not going back where it was before the 23rd of August 2023. We are in a transition and we implore our colleagues in ZANPF to exercise peace and tolerance. This country does not belong to ZANPF. It belongs to all of us. We are all Zimbabweans and we ought to behave in a manner that makes Zimbabwe a, pr a, pr a proud nation. We ought to behave in a manner that makes the international community, the region, you know, respect us. This is not on. This is not proper. I urge our, our colleagues in ZANPF to restrain themselves from the use of violence. We are non-violent, we are peaceful, but we are determined to protect the victory of President Nelson Chamisa and the victory of the people of Zimbabwe. It is not about President Nelson Chamisa. It is not about Promise Mkwananzo or Gladys Lachoy. It's about Zimbabwe. It's about the Zimbabweans. This is your time to stand and say, we want an accurate result of what transpired in these elections. I'm not going to waste much of your time because of the disturbance that have happened. I'll hand over to the chief election agent of the president to then give you in hard facts uh, all where we are, where we, what we are, where we are going, then we'll conclude our press conference. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, members of the press. Now, what you have just experienced is such a shame. And it's quite unfortunate that we continue to come here to talk to you, to liaise with you, but our So like I was saying, what has just happened right in front of your eyes is what you'd, you'd call a shameful thing. It is not what you would expect in a properly functioning democracy. What must be understood is that we are not here to announce election results. Uh, the law does not allow us to do that. The only reason we are here to give is to give the public an update of the current situation as it prevails. Now, you will know that uh, the observers uh, pronounced their verdict on their views of the conduct of the elections. Uh, the verdict, as they pronounced it yesterday, this does not come as a surprise to us. Everything that they said, despite and notwithstanding the attacks upon them, is something that we all witnessed. Now, let's go to the polling day. Who did not see that vote, vote, voting delayed in all the constituencies, especially in, in urban areas? Who did not witness FAS exit poll desks uh, at most of the polling stations, especially in the rural areas? Who did not witness uh, the fact that uh, at polling stations, some of them, as alluded to in the observer mission statements, there were no voters' roles? Who did not witness the fact that at polling stations, ballot papers ran out during voting time? All that was unfolding right in front of the public. So, the verdict that was pronounced is something that, that did not come as a surprise to anybody. The world was watching, Zimbabweans were watching, even those who were complaining and getting angry on behalf of the state were watching. So what we come here to do is not really to go back to what has happened. What we come here to do is to make a clarion call on the electoral management body of Zimbabwe. Perhaps, perhaps, after hearing that indictment by the observer missions, they might change their ways now that we've entered the stage of announcement of results, the stage of collation, verification of results. Now, you must know that the law allows political parties and anybody else the right to tabulate results on their own, to have comparative analysis of results on their own. So the Triple C political party has been doing that. It has got its own source documents. Our election agents all, all over the country were collecting our own 
uh, 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 V11, as we are entitled by law to do, we have that information. Like I said, uh, as I opened, we are not here to announce election results. What we are here to tell you is that we know results. We have information on the results. We have our source documents to support our results. If the law allowed us, we would have been telling you the results. But the law does not. We will keep our results. We will continue with the effort to verify our own results. And we are hoping that as we do so, ZEC is also doing so. But what Zimbabwe expects from ZEC is not anything out of the ordinary. What Zimbabweans expect from ZEC is transparency. You recall that before this election, all that the Triple C was calling for is transparency. We called for ZEC to give us the voters' role. They played around, they didn't. We called on ZEC and asked that we be allowed to inspect the ballots. We were refused that opportunity. Now see what then happened. In some constituencies, you would find that faces of candidates were mixed up. That would have been resolved if ZEC had allowed us to inspect the ballots before the voting day. That would not have been an issue. But it then caused a problem on election day. Because once you discover that there are mixed up faces, on the ballot, you then have to stop the vote. You then have to go back and redo the ballot. That would have been avoided. In Bulawayo, you recall that there were some of our local authority candidates that were not appearing on the ballot. Again, that would have been resolved before the election. If they had been transparent, it allowed people and political parties to in inspect the ballots. But now that we are entering this stage, of vote collation, verification, and announcement of results, all that we call upon ZEC to do is to be transparent in that process, to be transparent in the co collation of, 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 of uh, uh, ballots, transparent in the tabulation, transparent in the uh, verification. I'm happy that I've just received a call right now from ZEC Command Center that we must attend because the verification of presidential results is now starting. So I've sent an official who has already gone there. So we know these results. We know that we are preparing and set uh, for a satisfactory outcome. Uh, we, we are happy with what we have so far. We will keep it to our chests, but we know and we are assuring our supporters that we are heading for good times. So everyone here must know that the Triple C political party is not expecting anything else. It just expects transparency. It expects that the results that will be announced will be the results that reflect the will of the Zimbabwean people. We know that the, the election uh, was, was flawed. You, you, you heard for yourselves. But you didn't even have to wait for the observers to say it. You saw it for yourself. The flaws were so apparent and glaring such that no one would miss them. But even irregardless of that, uh, the president sends me to just tell you that he is so, so honored. He is so happy that Zimbabweans, despite all the spanners thrown into the way, uh, they withstood uh, the, 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 the hindrances, they stood and waited for their time to exercise their right to vote. And you will see, if eventually when the final results are announced, that that effort that they put will be rewarded. So I want to thank you all. I want to keep emphasizing that we as the Triple C political party, we are not interested in breaching the law. We will stick to the law. We will act according to law. We will act in terms of the constitution that entitles us to take all the steps that we are currently taking. Of course, there are some things that some aspects of the observer mission reports that we don't necessarily agree with. For instance, there is a, a finding that the election was generally peaceful and calm. But in our view, that, may not, that is not the case. You saw that Chitsunge wa, wa, was murdered. Uh, you saw that Tonga e. Jake's house was petrol bombed. You saw a lot that has been happening. The assault on Honorable Gueru, uh, the, the 
the, the visuals that you continue to receive of people being attacked, blood strain. So we are not really uh, 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 happy and excited about that indictment on the, on the election. In our view, uh, the, the observers may have missed that. We forgive them because they came here for a very brief and restricted time. They may have missed some of these things. They may have missed some of these occurrences, especially in the deep areas of, of the country. But what we can tell you is that generally, the observer mission statement captures and resonates with what was transpiring on the ground. But we are still grateful that Zimbabweans have soldiered on. Uh, I know that people are anxious about results. They are anxious, they are waiting. People who stood in queues for long hours, old ladies, stood in, in, in long queues. They did not go home. They refused to give up. They refused to throw in the towel. Those people, we cannot disrespect what they did. We have to be respectful to the laws of the country, but we have to be respectful to what Zimbabweans did on the voting day. I want to thank you so much, for members of the media, for standing with us. You saw this occurrence. If it was not for you, things would have gotten worse. So thank you so much for that effort. We truly, truly appreciate it. And the president sends his gratitude to everyone, every Zimbabwean. You saw that there were those who were getting angry about the report, the reports of the observers. But clearly, the issue is not about attacking individuals and personalities. The issue is to speak to the substance of the reports. What did, did the report say? Did you want them to lie about what they saw in the country? Or you wanted them to tell the truth? We believe they told the truth. Some may disagree with us, they are right to do so. But we as a political party, we are happy that this indictment uh, on what happened is what we expected. So thank you so much and God bless you. God bless Zimbabwe.